Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo told senators that the Philippines may choose not to allow the U.S. to use EDCA sites for military operations related to Taiwan. Manalo said this in response to questions regarding the purpose of the EDCA sites. Some lawmakers note that these sites are not really intended for modernization or disaster preparedness considering their locations. But the Defense Department has assured senators that the new sites will strengthen the entire country's defense and security. Camille Samonte with the big story. Bakit parang nakalimutan na natin, parang aasa na lang ba tayo sa mga dayuhan na ipagtanggol tayo samantalang ating sandatahan lakas ay nananatiling bulok, luma, under, uh, under uh, uh, armed. This is the question asked by Senator Amy Marcos to the Departments of National Defense and Foreign Affairs following the approval of four additional EDCA sites. During the hearing of the Committee on Foreign Relations, Senator Marcos pointed out that it appears that the government is now relying on foreigners for its external defense. The senator also noted that it seems like EDCA's primary objective is no longer the AFP's modernization, to which Defense Secretary Carlito Galvez replied, the modernization effort of the, the EDCA is basically for us to, uh, to really uh, to prepare uh, to defend uh, our country collectively with our allies. Senators also questioned the selected locations of the new EDCA sites. Marcus pointed out that the chosen sites are not in areas useful for AFP modernization, as well as for disaster response in typhoon-prone areas. The claim that it's for disaster preparedness is untrue. Uh -huh. Capability for what, sir? Clearly, this is no longer uh, high disaster risk and vulnerability. The Bicol area, Region 5, is a calamity-prone area. We all know that's the gateway to uh, typhoons. Uh, and I noticed that uh, Region 5 is not present in terms of um, uh, the EDCA sites. Galvez pointed out that the major consideration in picking locations for EDCA sites is the total defense of the archipelago. It was also revealed in the hearing that there is still no written agreement on the four new EDCA sites. Di pa nakakatakot na nagdadagdag at uh, nag-uumpisa tayo. Ngunit wala tayong kasulatan, anumang papel, anumang uh, kasunduan at pagkakaintindihan. DFA Secretary Manalo explained that there are no activities yet on the new sites and that both parties still have to exchange notes on the new EDCA sites. At the moment, there are no activities in, in connection with the four new sites because those cannot begin until we have actually made the exchange of notes, agreed on them. The DFA secretary also noted that the Philippines will have to give its consent if the U.S. intends to use the EDCA sites for activities outside the agreement, like operations against other countries. Manalo cited paragraph 3, article 1 of the 2014 agreement, which read that the U.S. may undertake activities like security cooperation exercises, joint and combined training activities in humanitarian assistance and disaster relief activities. Manalo said that based on the provisions of EDCA, any other activities not specified there are are subject to agreement by the parties.